What's up guys, so a totally different video today. I'm going to Frankenstein a bunch of clips from the last three or four days. These are all my non-Ross, Burlington, and Marshalls finds. Pretty much everything that I could find, flea markets and thrift and so on. So first we're gonna go to our local flea market and show you the clip of a bunch of shoes that I have a seller, he just piles on random shoes. You can go through them, selling them for about 35 bucks a piece. We're also gonna go to Uptown Cheapskate. We just opened a new location here in El Paso, Texas. So I'll show the highlights there and last I'm gonna go through some thrifted Jersey finds from the last three four days and what I paid for them and what do I expect to get so roll the clips Start off with shoes, see what they got. Jordan 31, 42.99. A little beat, a little worn. Gray and pink, little pennies, $35. This is a size 10. Hirachis, I think we saw these at the outlets. $40 still, man. Let's see, Kobe 10 in purple, size 11, and looks like $37.99. Jordan 10, size 12, and they are indeed fakes. So, you want to look at here. What do we have to look at? Number one, so the tongue definitely falling apart. You can see uh, fading away, and then the big 
I mean, the big thing is the inside tag. How the inside tag is already coming off. It's already peeling off halfway out there. So that's a definite sign right there. Even the fonts, all that, not good at all. Insoles, super cheap and also fading away. And they want $33. Check out these Barclays and Air Q Strong. $27. Going all the way around. Take a look at these. Size 10. Kobe AD and like a beige also a size 10 35 dollars with gum bottoms decent shape jordan 13 altitude and 42.99 also why is everything a size 10 here some creasing overall they do look authentic don't look fake 43 dollars i'm guessing they'll probably sell for maybe 90 depends on how much work i can do in the creasing I do have some kobe's but these are kids they're not even flying it so i remember these yeah, marshalls but with no flying it nothing that's tough $16 PG's size 9 $33 blue pennies I think this one will remember from Marshall's and Burlington size 9 no price so they have jerseys right here as soon as you walk in avalanche for kids that one passing DeMarco Murray Cowboys, Larry Fitzgerald, non sewn Nike Cardinals, and $25. Let's see, number 15, Brandon Marshall. This is a kid's jersey. Fake wear jersey, Cowboys falling apart. I kind of was kind of surprised they even took this. $15. Here we go, Broncos, John Elway. It is a champion. It's size 40, it's about a medium, and they want $27 for this one. Let's see, number 56, Woodley. Steelers and it is a limited jersey a little stained he does not play for them anymore $25 man look at this one nuggets Eduardo Nahara $15 but it's a kids this one Oregon Ducks Nike non sewn $14 not bad Oregon Ducks Toronto Maple Leafs $18 it's got some like threads here Sundin at number 13 conditions not bad Reebok and size large I don't know we said the price already $18 so our first clip swap meet finds and I've purchased some shoes from this seller before he brings out a bunch of shoes brand new without box but there's always a small defect in there either one shoe is bigger than the other or discolored or something so there were uh, two 70s that were obviously used there was Jordan 4s those were used there were Air Max 98s one shoe was really yellowed uh, compared to the other one it was like a white so the only thing I purchased were Air Max 97s so they're brand new $35 and what is wrong with them only thing I could really notice is one of the shoelaces is a little yellowed compared to the other one overall the shoe no yellowing all the way around even at Burlington sometimes it's yellowing uh, through here but great shape on the shoes only thing were the laces so with that I was like you know what not bad 35 bucks if I can sell them for 120 140 maybe someone won't mind just a little yellowing on the shoelace our only find there they also had some red Iversons one of them was really used and the other one was good but for me I thought the Air Max 97s was gonna be uh, the best purchase my other flea market find were project rock hats I did not get it on camera did not get any footage but they're all brand new with tags and picked up 12 of them the seller started off at 12 went down to 10 went down to 8 so $8 each for these and I'm definitely gonna be listing these on Amazon so right now the rank not bad 111,000 selling for almost $40 but we'd be making about $22 a hat it runs to about $264 profit then all these in Amazon get them poly bagged and if they sell anytime from now through December then that's good. Uptown Cheapskate, we saw the Jordan 13 Altitude, and in the condition, I just didn't see it happening at about $43, $44. I did see some used on eBay at like $75 to $80. A lot of work to be done on those, and I was like, eh, do I really want to go through the process only to make a little bit of money from that. We also saw some other jerseys in there. Some of them were just way overpriced, so I left those behind as well. Now, these are all random jerseys that I picked up, and they're from Thrift, 
from Flea Market. There's another Uptown Cheapskate find in here from the West Side Store. So first one, Ohio State. There we go, number two. This is a Nike jersey, not sewn, and I think I paid seven bucks for it. Next one, Yao Ming, and this is a youth large jersey, Nike Swingman, fully sewn, and this one I did pay three dollars for. Next one, Flea Market paid three dollars for Dallas Stars sewn CCM jersey. This one is a size XL, no name or number in the back. Three bucks should sell for about 30. Next one, I think I paid eight dollars for this one and is the Tennessee Titans Lindell White authentic jersey, fully sewn authentic back what the players uh, wore. Now he doesn't play for them anymore. Fully sewn and really high quality. Check out that Titans patch right there. Sell that for about, I don't know, 80 to 100 dollars. Football season starting up as well. But this jersey probably go to some uh, Titans collector. Now Uptown Cheapskate from the West Side Store. I paid $15 for a Steve Nash Dallas Mavericks Swingman jersey and great condition as well in a size medium. I'm gonna keep this for the collection of my Swingman jerseys. Last couple of finds, Family Thrift Center and kids, $3. New England Patriots Salute to Service hoodie. It is a size small, but for $3, I mean, you should be able to sell that for about 25 to 30 range. Next one, Antoine Walker Champion jersey. This is for kids and the size is XL. 18 to 20 a little messed up on the back the number eight, but it was only a dollar Kemba Walker wears number eight for this coming season So technically the Walker number eight jersey is still good last but not least Tom Brady Patriots jersey It's not sewn, but it is made by Nike four dollars and I've been selling Brady jerseys pretty good toddler jerseys kids jerseys 20 25 30 dollars thanks guys for watching this video i know it was a little different a little weird putting all this stuff together a little break from seeing all the ross burlington marshall stuff all the time but we're gonna be back at it again later on during the week but here just wanted to mix it up some thrift finds and flea market finds where do you source outside of ross burlington and marshall's talk to me in the comments thanks guys for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one go out and get it Thank you.